Hi, and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe if you like cool stuff tonight. Well, first of all, please drink responsibly. It's really important, to be honest, and I kind of have fun with that part of it, but, you know, here I am making a six liquor drink, and I'm going to, like, lecture people on responsible drinking. And I'm not lecturing. I'm just, you know, asking you to please be responsible. Don't drive. Don't drink and drive. Make all your decisions before you start drinking. I'm not going anywhere. All I have to do is go to work tomorrow, so we're going to have some fun tonight. So, this is all of my chocolate liquors with whipped cream vodka. And the whipped cream vodka is just, just to give maybe, I don't know, just mix it up just a little bit. So, I really don't know how this is going to go. It's the first time I've made it. I went through, grabbed all my chocolate liquors. I waited for Mrs. Guy to get home. She's not going to have her own. She's going to drink out of mine because this, uh, this is a bit strong. And I've never made it. So let's see how this goes. So we are going to take some Simply Chocolate Putney Winery. This is from a winery, believe it or not. It's a chocolate liqueur, and it's actually very good. Oh, look at that. It's going to come as a shock. I spilled some. So, we are going to employ the clean-as-you-go method of housekeeping, which keeps me from getting in trouble. Sometimes. Most of the time. Usually. Anyways. So, there's the Simply Chocolate, the Van Gogh Double Chocolate. This stuff is really, 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 really good. I'm not going to really fill these right to the top just because there's six of them. But, oh boy, I'm starting to get a little nervous, but... We'll see how it goes. Now, this is the first time I haven't even opened this. Look at that. It's not even open. I should have probably... Shit. I should have done that probably before. This is a... Came back from Maine. This is a Maine treasure. It's Bird Dog Chocolate Whiskey. I've never had it. And it's right now is the first time. Ooh, it smells like whiskey and it smells like chocolate. So, let's see how it is. Uh, in the New Hampshire State Liquor Store, there is some chocolate whiskey it's not bird dog it's something else it's like a freaking hundred bucks for one bottle and i just haven't bought myself to buy it this was like 20 i think up in maine so 20 bucks 100 bucks well that's easy so we got some tippy cow this is the chocolate shake this is pretty good too i've made one drink with it i killed the bottle of the uh the mint they had a mint one too mint mint something or other Killed that the other night. This is very chocolatey. Okay, this is also very good. This is like a sipping cream, a dark chocolate coffee. This has got a little bit of a coffee. Ooh, this is brandy new. I guess I haven't maybe made one drink with it. That was pretty good. I didn't spill any. Oh, I freaking drizzled all over the front of it though. God, that looks awful, doesn't it? Can you hear the crappy music in the background? I got the 90s channel playing. I think it's like Backstreet Boys or some crap. So, I'm going to put some whipped cream vodka. I think that was a pretty good addition. Just to add a little bit of sweetness. We are going to put that in there. It's on ice. We also got some chocolate milk because there's so much liquor. It just needs something to help bring it together. And when I shake it, it, the milk has a frothy touch, if you like that. So my drink shaker is pretty freaking full after six liquors and two shots of chocolate milk. I need a bigger one. Hint, hint. Sorry. Anyways, we'll get this out of here. I'm gonna put this here. So I'm gonna do something a little crazy. I've been watching YouTube and I saw somebody do this kind of and it was intriguing. So I take a little bit of plate, put some chocolate. The downside is I thought I was making two of these and I'm really, I guess, only making one that I'm gonna share. Kind of spread it out, it is thick, obviously. So I've been watching YouTube videos on how to make drinks. I am not a bartender, I'm not doing this because I know what I'm doing, I'm doing it because I like to drink. So we're gonna try something here. I got some crushed up, crushed up cookies too and we got some chocolate sauce i don't know how this is gonna go i've never tried it i saw this <laughs> excuse me i saw this on youtube i'm kind of laughing and like 
I'm just nervous. Ooh, watch out, they like did that. And they were, they were making something, I don't know what they were making, I don't remember, but I was kind of intrigued by this. Because remember, I'm not a friggin' bartender, so this is all new to me. So I got some crushed up chocolate, chocolate like cookies. I tried to take the chocolate chips out. Oh, actually that came out pretty, well, at least it looks pretty good. Downside is I got a plate full of chocolate that I'm not gonna use, but look at that. That actually came out. Yeah, can you see that? How's that? that before I fill it up, I'll show you. Look at that. Pretty cool. It's all. Oh, look at that. Anyway, so let's take this shit up. Shake it. It is a full shaker. I'm gonna shake it for I don't know five to eight seconds, ten seconds. I'm not counting. I'm talking. I also have a super awesome garnish, but it's the first time I did this and I put it all on backwards. So it's an Andy's Candies on the bottom. It's a cheesecake, chocolate cheesecake filled like truffle thing in the middle. And it's like baklava, some chocolate covered baklava. So when I put it on the stick, I just, it's my first time and I just fucked up. So it presentation wise, Look at that. If everything was the other way, it would just look so much better because we're looking at the ass end. Let me show you. We are looking at the ass end of all the garnishes, so we don't want that. Let's see if I can do this without making the camera fall. All right, so let's. Now I could pour it over and let's, you know what? It's Friday night. It's, I'm rustic fucking guy and I'm daring. Look at that, oh, look at that shit. Oh yeah, look at that, it's like a chocolate waterfall. Oh yeah, I should drizzle some 151 and light this fucker on fire. I've been watching fire drinks too. I am not doing it this evening, but when my skills get a little better, I just may do a fire drink. So the downside, and again, I thought I was making two, but I'm only making one that I'm gonna share that'll be two is that um, I got a lot more to go. So this is, a, if I hadn't been smarter, I would have used a bigger glass for myself. But this is what we go. I'm not sure what I really want to call it. I got some ideas. This fucking thing's going to fall, watch. I'm not using my gimbal and I should. The downside to this here is that it's, you're going to poke your eye out. So you got to kind of, I guess, as awesome as this garnish is, it's a pretty bad idea on this drink. So, obviously it is strong. It's not as strong as you think it would be with all that liquor. There's, there's a, not a real amazing amount of bite. And obviously it's very chocolatey with all that chocolate. So if you are into chocolate, you're into sweet, if you're not worried about your figure or your diabetes or your sugar intake or any of that crap, certainly give this drink a try. It is a dessert drink without a doubt, and you can add all kinds of different options to it if you like. But please subscribe if you like cool stuff. And again, please, please drink responsibly. That's, that's what we're all about. Having a good time. Be an adult. Be smart. Enjoy. Thank you. Please subscribe.